Ottoman is moving to Liverpool. That's probably going to be our final signing of the transfer window. Pogba wins it back again. Now through to save with Dumbia. They cut back inside. The next shot from here. And it's 3 0. Hey guys and welcome to another episode of the FIFA 15 Liverpool Karimo series. So first of all, if you guys want to see another episode today, smash a like on the video and as soon as we hit 1000 likes on this episode, the next episode will be uploaded. So I, I kind of want to get two seasons more out of this series, uh, so I, I need to get a lot of episodes out. So if you guys can smash a like on the video, as I said before, the next episode will be uploaded. So today we're going to start off with Liverpool versus Arsenal. So that is my starting lineup. That's the team we're playing against, and let's get into the first game of today's episode. Oh, Welbeck already. He's nutmegged me as well, and it's going to be a free kick, but Danny Welbeck is not looking good. So Sanchez is not going to shoot. It's said Cazorla off to Campbell, and it's well over the bar, but Arsenal three minutes in. It could have been an embarrassing start. And now back into Ramsey. Look at the space for Alexis Sanchez. Ball comes across. Wilshire and Arsenal have taken the lead, and they do deserve it. We've made a poor start. And Wilshire scores the opening goal. There he goes, Marco Royce. Still going in space. Royce, save. Dumbi is there. And it's offside, but our first chance of the game. And we nearly were back on level terms, but Dumbi is top scorer. Not surprisingly so far, and could have added to his tally. Ball goes in, though. And Pogba, that's Pogba's brother, had a free header. So my three players were standing there. No one did a single thing. Luckily, he's missed. In it goes instead to Dumbi. Can he turn his man? It's Laporte. Back into Luis Suarez now to shoot. And it's just wide and he has so much space. I could have like, had a few touches. So an eventful first half. And one that we have been chasing shadows for most of it. But I do think we have the players in this team to win this game. Even though we're 1-0 down, we can still bring it back and hopefully win the game. Here goes Welbeck again. He's found space off the post. And that could have been game over, but we got it away. That Marco Royce can't get there. Like Arsenal just first to everything. They're strength in their team. And again, it starts over again because they're just so patient. Ball comes back in. Luckily, we can get it away this time, but only as far as Wilshire this time. In and back into Joel Campbell. Now it goes Wilshire. Look at the space. O'Neill's not going to get there. And cocky, like Danny Warbeck, isn't managed to score. So, not long to go now, but we're going to bring on three new players. Coutinho is going to come on for Luis Suarez. Markovic is also going to come on. And finally, Karen Benzmerg. You guys have been saying to use him more. And let's see if he can pay off because he hasn't scored yet, I don't think. Sanchez, and it's game over. Game over right there, guys. Like, we have been shocking defensively. We have, I think, only conceded a few goals this season. But Arsenal have come here and they have dominated and look to be going away with the three points. Right, here's a chance. Benzema throwing goal. This Laporte is up against. They cut back inside. It's Benzema. And it's off the post. But we've still got a chance. Markovic back into Benzema. And it's off the crossbar. Like, give us a chance to get back in the game. Benzema just had two chances. We've been, like, Arsenal, I've got to say, have been the better team. But we've had our chances. So, there we go, guys. Not the start we wanted in today's episode. We've lost 2-0 to Arsenal in the first game. We've still got a long way to go. And we're not too far behind the leaders. But we can't keep losing like this. So, time for the second game of today's episode. And we now have Nottingham Forest, who have recently been promoted. And I've gone back to my original formation of the 4-2-3-1. Uh, but then you guys can leave a comment down below uh, with what kind of formation and what players I think you think you should be starting in the team. Uh, that really help out. Because I'm still trying to find the starting lineup because uh, there's players like Firmino. He's not even getting a game, but he could be... Uh, the better player to use. But anyway, let's get into the second game and let's hopefully get the win. And here's how the league table is looking. So we are currently in fourth. That could mean a massive win because we would have gone on to 13 points. And I think that's only two points behind the leader. So a massive chance missed out. Ball comes in. In the air. And it's just over from whoever that was from the Forest. But they're the better team at the moment yet again. And now they've got themselves a corner. So Patterson's going to take it. And it's hopefully not concede this first goal. The ball comes in. Jones misses it. What is he doing? And Jakob has got the first goal. But that is completely Jones's fault. I decided to leave him to get the ball. And he just completely left it. Like, could this get any worse? Here goes Lucas. Karen Benzema's there. Easy as that. Easy as that. Karen Benzema gets his first goal in English football. Lucas did the work and he just crossed it in. And Benzema just found space like he does. I thought he struggled to get back in this game because I always have problems against the promoter teams like you might remember from my Southampton 
uh, like first few seasons, like I lost like all of them. I QPR the lot. I lost absolutely every one of them. Pogba not doing his job yet again. Oh, so much space again. He's found a way past. Lansbury now into the middle. Great save. And Jones just didn't get rid of it. And Forrest had taken the lead. I can't believe that. Like, they've taken the lead yet again. Like, it was a good save from Jones. But he just, what was he doing? Just gave it straight back to him. And it's an open goal. Right, we're going to change it going into the second half. So we're going to go for a diamond formation. A bit less width, but hopefully this will work out. Because I'm missing the two strikers. And how can Marco Royce and Benzema not score a goal in the second half? So let's hopefully turn around the game. But it's going to be tough because Forrest so far have been amazing. He goes Pogba through to Marco Royce. And is that a penalty? Or is it a free kick? I'm not sure yet. But it looks like it's going to be a penalty. But I'm still not sure. Marco Royce and Pogba linking up like they should. World class players. And that is the difference. It's a penalty. I didn't even know. So I first of all thought it was a penalty. Now it's going to be... A penalty, so I thought it was going to be a free kick, but no, it's not. So, we're going to take away Karen Benzema, and we're going to go left-hand side for this one. It's going to go left, it's saved, and somehow it misses everyone. And we're still behind. But Coutinho has other things to say, and it's a block again. There's so many players in the way. We need a goal before they start going really defensive, and I hate that. Like, Right, one more ball. Now it goes on to Marco Royce. Has to be the goal now. And there it is, guys. So Marco Royce has scored it. Back on level terms. And we have dominated this second half. So let's go for the win. And we've still got Dumbia, Luis Suarez still to come on. But I'm liking Karen Benzema and Marco Royce as my two strikers. So I've got now two uh, good sets of strikers. So first of all, Suarez and Dumbia and Marco Royce and Karen Benzema. Because Marco Royce in the first half on the wing did, did absolutely nothing. Like Obviously, he's good in real life in that position. Uh, but a striker in this game is just OP. And he goes to Roberto, but look at the space. There's nothing. In he goes to Coutinho now. And he's someone who can lock in a, a defence. And here he goes. Still on the ball. What a save. Royce is there. They've managed to get it clear. And we still have a chance here. So now Pogba to shoot. It's blocked off again. But Caceres and he can't shoot. But we're going all out attack now, guys. We need this win. And here goes Moreno. Going to go on the outside. Then back in. And the ball goes in. Marco Royce. And it's saved and it's gone in. The goalie's made the mistake three minutes from time and Marco Royce has got his second. But the goalkeeper is to blame. We might have just got ourselves an extra two points, but what is he doing? And he goes to Dumbia. He's got past one. Now look at the space. Into O'Neill. And it's off the side netting. But what a second half that was, guys. We turned it around. We won the game 3 2 thanks to that man, Marco Royce. And a fantastic three points. So we have got a European game coming up. But before we get into that game, we have now got a squad report. So this is actually the first one of the season. And if you do want to see any player in more detail, uh, feel free to pause on the video. But this is my goalkeeper, Brad Jones. It looks like he'll be retiring in the season. But uh, we'll have to wait and find out. But I just want to focus on the performances. And look at my defence. So first of all, poor, bad. We got poor from not Otamendi and good for Moreno. So I'm kind of thinking because I had the best defence easily last season. Uh, I think we conceded like under 10 goals. Like our only problem was scoring goals. And it's like this season has kind of reversed itself. Uh, so I'm thinking I might go to my old back four or kind of maybe maybe use Sacco or Lovren because it worked so well last season. Uh, so Pogba has gone up now to 62 million pounds. He has got probably the best stats I've ever seen on a career mode before. Like he's absolutely insane. Only 26 years old as well. So he has got so long like to go until he's at full potential. Hoiberg we've got Lucas as well. I don't think we'll grow any more. Marco Royce now 90 rated. Dumbia is still only 86, but obviously he's 31 years old. And there's so many great uh, great players in this team now. Like it's ridiculous. Like players like Oliver Torres don't even get a team like in the first team anymore. Uh, so we've got Firmino similar as well. We've got Lovren who's barely played this season as well. But as I said before, guys, if you do want to see any more play in more detail, feel free to pause on the video. Uh, but let's now move on into the second game in the Europa League and let's hopefully get another win. Right, so I've gone with a different lineup. So players like Coutinho getting a proper run in the first team. And players, I've gone, like I said, back to my original defence. So Yabra's come in and also players like Sacco and Lovren as well. Right, we've won it back. Let's get something going here. Pogba, look at the space for Karen Benzema. Instead, it's gone to Marco Royce. Going to cut back inside, but it should have gone in the first place to Karen Benzema. But let's get some in here. Marco Royce now to shoot. He's got another chance here. Still going, but I just couldn't get the shot away. And now Coutinho does well to get past. Ball goes in into Marco Royce. Only headed as far as Benzema. But here comes Markovic to shoot. And it's saved, but just over the bar. We're going to take this short corner off the road. 
And then we're going to play it out to Markovic. Can he get something going here? And he goes now to Pogba to shoot. And he's off the crossbar. But how did he get that close to scoring? Like, this man is a machine. And nearly had another goal. So the corner to be taken. The ball comes in. And it's well headed away. But let's get something going. We are so strong on the counter. And can Marco Royce use his pace to get past? But where is Benzema? We're just going to have to go along with Marco Royce. He's done it alone. Now look at this. And there's an extra man. It's Paul Pogba. Now Pogba to shoot. And it's too easy. Paul Pogba, you can't give him that much space. He's made it 1 0 and a fantastic end to the first half. He is my favourite player on this career mode. Like, look at the space he has. You can't give him that much. So, not a bad lineup of subs. So, on comes Sadio Dumbia, top scorer from last season, and 90 rated Luis Suarez. Markovic is way too quick. And the ball's going to go in. Sadio Dumbia, and he's been on for about five minutes and he scored with his first touch. Makes it 2-0 and that must be game over. But Markovic did all the hard work. He got past the defender. That's a perfect cross into Sadio Dumbia and an easy head into the back of the net. And here goes Torres. So much space. One more onto Luis Suarez and it's a great save. But they're really going for it, like properly going attacking as well. And it's not gonna work, simple as that. But here goes Torres. Now can we find a ball back? And then it goes to Yabra now to shoot. It's blocked off and it still hasn't worked this season yet. The corner tactic I always use. I've given it straight to them. Made the stupid mistake again. And now can they get a goal? Saka still doing enough to keep them out. And it's my stupidity that's given them the goal. And maybe a chance back in the game. But that's 2-1. So there we go guys. We've got another win. And that means we're pretty much through to the next round of the Europa League. So that's a great win we picked up there. Only 2-1. Uh, we had so many chances to kill the game off. Uh, but that's going to be the end of the episode for today. If you guys have enjoyed it, I'm to smash a like on the video for that double upload, hopefully later on today. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.